Hi, this is Matt. I'm going to show you how to customize the color scheme of your WordPress backend in the new 3.8. I'm going to try to do that in five minutes or less, uh, just so you can see how easy it is. I already have the admin color scheme plugin installed, so you see these extra color schemes here, and I want to make a new one, and it's going to be based on a site that I'm working on right now and the colors in that site. So, uh, since I've already typed up everything, I'm going to fly through this and uh, hold on tight, and you'll see how it works. I'm going to duplicate the lawn theme. I've navigated to the plugin folder on my local environment, and I'm going to call that new folder CYS. And then I'm going to open up admin color schemes, navigate down to where the function is. I'm going to find lawn there. And I'm going to duplicate that, copy, paste it down at the bottom of that function before that function is closed out and change these to CYS, CYS, and that folder that I created right there is CYS. I'm not changing any colors yet, leaving that there. When I go back, you'll see that CYS is there available already, but it's identical to lawn. So I'm gonna change that right now. I'm gonna go into that new folder and open up the SAS file. You see it has only these options right here. Um, what I need to do first is make sure that SAS is watching this project. I'm doing that with Scout. Navigate to my local environment and all I care about for this project is just this one folder. Um, the input folder and the output folder are the same because the SAS file and the CSS file are both in the same folder. Ready to go. I'm going to hit play. It's going to give me some intro text. And now I'm going to go to my site to pull my colors. I'm going to go use Colorzilla Web Page Color Analyzer. I like this color a lot. I'm going to make that my base. The highlight color, I'm going to use. Yes, this one's 66666. Notification color, I'll make it a little bit darker. Action color will go lighter. When I hit save, Scout's going to notice that there's a change and it already has spit it out over to the colors CSS file. What I'm also going to do is go into the admin color scheme again. I want to grab these colors so that, that this new color scheme is reflected in the palette that you see there. Save that. Now we go back here and we refresh. And there's my new color scheme. CYS, all set. There are some details that I want to change. And I mentioned in the article that you can look at all your available options in um, that folder by looking at the variables file. That's it. Have fun.